All right, hey you guys, this is Mr. Cell. Uh, we're going to look at this binomial here and the difference of those two, a and b. We're going to square that and see why does it equal a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This problem isn't too bad if you can FOIL just like we did on the last problem where it was a plus b. Uh, everything's going to work pretty much the same way, but uh, instead of plus right here, we've got a minus. So let's take a look at that quantity first. So this gives us the quantity a minus b, and we're going to square that quantity. And the first thing I'm going to do with it is to expand it, all right? So that gives us these two quantities now being multiplied by each other. And once again, if we can use the FOIL technique, we can find what we're looking at for here pretty quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute this a into this other set of parentheses, which gives us this. Now notice I have this as a negative b. That's because we could write that as a plus a negative b right here. Not that it matters. But uh, when I do that right here, it's just going to change. Eventually, it will change that plus sign into a minus. So next, I'll distribute that negative b into that other set of parentheses, which gives us these values here. And notice on this side, we've got two negatives, which eventually is going to give us a positive right there. And then what I've done here is I've combined a, the two a's there to give us an exponent of 2 and these two b's would give us an exponent of 2 as well. I've already taken away the negatives because two negatives gives us a positive right there and I've switched the b and the a and changed the sign to a minus because that was a negative because we're adding a negative here and a negative here as well. Notice what this does is it gives us a negative a b here and a negative a b there that gives us two of those which changes the expression if we wanted to simplify that to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. There's no other simplification here. We're pretty much good there. And that right there is what we were trying to show, as we can see in the original equation, why that a minus b squared equals this other quantity here.